Hey fans, I'm Ken Bukowski, Sierra Heavy Duty Marketing Manager for GMC. I want to welcome you to our 2015 Sierra HD Hangout. So thank you again so much for joining us today. I'd like to introduce Mr. Jeff Luke, who's GM Executive Chief Engineer. Jeff, can you tell everybody a little bit about what you do, what your role is at GMC? Well, Ken, uh, thank you, and it's great to be here this afternoon and uh, for, for um, being able to, uh, to talk uh, great heavy-duty Sierra pickups. Uh, live. My, yeah, and live. live. My, my job as Executive Chief Engineer is essentially to, uh, to, to execute uh, great uh, Sierra heavy-duty pickup trucks. And it, it essentially, uh, really, in my opinion, has got to have uh, very strong features and uh, when you look at the heavy duty uh, Sierra um, you see a very strong grill that's very detailed in, in uh, chrome accents. Uh, uh, you look uh, for example at the at the very strong uh, sculpted front floor mm -hmm. bumper. Uh, it demonstrates uh, a lot of character and, uh, and and a lot of uh, and a lot of strength, and so you 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 know you look at across the uh, the Sierra heavy duty lineup, and and you you just see that um, element of refined sculpture, but also uh, um, ultimate strength. Yep, big differences on the outside and the front, probably more more so than anywhere else in the truck. I think yep. is fair. I would say and the that. Interior is a lot of sharing on the inside, actually, and it's all good stuff. A lot of premium materials, that kind of stuff. Yeah, with uh, with with uh, the GMC, we wanted to ensure that uh, premium execution was delivered. And uh, for exam example, example, uh, interior, as you noted, uh, real aluminum mm -hmm. uh, uh, used on the uh, the accents in the interior. There, uh, um, you know, this truck has been executed. We expect the heavy duties to be uh, like the light duties, uh, the the quietest no quieter pickup yeah. in the segment and uh, we're really excited about that it, it is in my mind one example of uh, refinement is it, to ensure quiet without question we hear that all the time on the light duties there's probably no attribute that we've heard more about favorably on the light duty so if that rides forward into the HDs that's a good thing well we expect it to nobody likes a loud cabin that's for sure every duty or light duty doesn't much matter I guess uh, next question from Brent when do you expect to start taking orders for the 2015 HDs yeah, essentially we've started we're, taking orders. In, right? uh, first consensus has uh, started, and uh, you know we're we're excited. Consensus is an insider term, meaning dealers can start ordering heavy duty Sierra. So we're off and running. Yeah, I think, off right? and running, ready to we're go. Good. Ready, to, ready to start producing pretty soon. Yep, we are looking forward to it. The next step of the Sierra launch, I guess. Uh, are there any plans on having a true fifth wheel gooseneck prep package, like on the Rams, or even a high mount camera? For goosenecks, that's that. There's a two. That's a three-parter here. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, great, great, great question there. Um, uh, clearly, uh, fifth-wheel trailering is an important attribute of a heavy-duty uh, truck, and uh, uh, prep package is um, is uh, one thing we are considering, and you'll see in the future. Um, the um, the high-mounted camera is an interesting idea, and I'll uh, I'll be looking into that one. Uh, um, Based on on that, we want to obviously provide our, our customers with uh, um, the easiest way in which they should trailer. Yep. And um, certainly, a uh, high mounted camera would uh, would would uh, add some benefit there. So I'll certainly be looking into that. That's a pretty intricate maneuver, looking yep. those rigs up. So that's a, we'll be looking into that. That's good. Folks like to hear that. Oh, the third part here. Any chance of seeing heated rear seats? 
You know, uh, we have considered uh, a heated rear seat. Um, haven't uh, got a lot of uh, um, interest, uh, let's say, uh, uh, from our, uh, our outgoing model. Um, but based on this question, and uh, you know, we'll have some more discussions internally. Uh, that might be something we, uh, we come, to, yeah, come to come to market with. I could certainly uh, see that as a, uh, a potential addition to the uh, Denali yeah. uh, level of all the uh, sense in the world there. Uh, so uh, that's something we yeah. should uh, we should uh, look at a little bit more. Could have used it in Michigan this morning, actually. <laughs> that's okay. Good point. Yeah. Next question from Dario. What, sounds like somebody who's driven a light duty here. Actually, it says pretty nice ride. But what about the dualies? Yeah, uh, dually, um, the dually ride, in my opinion, should be as uh, as confident and as smooth as a three-quarter ton, as a half ton. You know, and in, in each truck, obviously, as their capability increases, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so does uh, overall performance. But uh, the dually ride, and in fact, all of our trucks, I personally evaluate the ride on them, and uh, make we make adjustments based on. Um, you know, uh, feedback uh, during the ride evaluation, and the dually ride uh, is is uh, I, I think outstanding in my opinion. Whether you have it uh, unloaded or as most of our customers uh, uh, mostly uh, loaded, yeah. if not at yeah. uh, you know full GVW or and or GCW with full trailer, so uh, you know they're uh, designed to uh, to ride uh, well at both ends ends of the spectrum. Yep. Hardly anybody's pulling their trailer all day long, all the time. So they're bound to be yeah. riding around with nothing in it. Uh, my experience in a dually is that it's you want it to be better than it is sometimes. Historically, sounds like we're making it better for sure. Oh yeah. Any reason yeah. to think the dually would be any less quiet than uh, no. any other cab no, on the inside? No, not at all. No. Not at all. All right, that's good. So if you a lot of folks who drive duallys, I mean they're hauling big trailers, horse trailers, traveling. They're on the road on the highway a lot. Mm -hmm. Comfortable seats, quiet cabin. That's all good stuff for people. So. Yep, from yeah. a regular cab dually, a double cab dually, or a crew cab dually, uh, you will get the same uh, level of refineness uh, there as you would in, say, a three-quarter ton. Yep. And if you, you wanted to know what the attention to detail element of what a GMC buyer is looking for is and how we execute it here at GMC, this is a guy who just said he drives every truck to make sure it rides the way we expect it to ride. So something new today at the Google Plus Hangout. Now you know who drives them. Uh, the next question. Paul asked us, "When will the when will the 2015 HDs be revealed?" Yeah, we were uh, we had a great event um, uh, in October at the uh, State Fair of Texas, mm -hmm. where we revealed the uh, the uh, 2015 heavy duties. A lot of excitement uh, there when we revealed those, yep. and uh, plenty of uh, pictures now online, and uh, you yep. know a lot of exciting information. Yeah, a lot of information. Now we got the website up and running, so there's plenty of stuff online for you. Uh, more coming. We'll have a full full website. Uh, the build your own feature will be up and running very shortly. So uh, watch for that, I guess. Um, the next one for you, Fred, from Fred. Are you going to make the extended cab body style? Uh, I'm assuming Fred is asking about the rearward opening doors, maybe not. Um, yeah, um, for for the uh, heavy duty lineup, uh, we, we are essentially carrying the same uh, forward opening door system as we're doing in the. Uh, Light duty double cab in the, into the heavy duty, so uh, uh, no longer will the doors be opening uh, uh, rearward, rearward for for the for the uh, second row uh, door. Uh, it will open in a forward manner, like the front door, and that's like the uh, new Sierra uh, light duty. The light duty, yeah. yeah. Next one from Randy. I only want to know one thing. Randy says, "Is a power folding tow mirror an option?" I think we got this from other people, but Randy's the one who asked this particular question. Yeah, great, great question. Yeah. Um, we, we, you will see um, uh, here shortly um, a, a great uh, trailer tow mirror that we will be offering, and it will have a powerful feature. Powerful. Any other stuff on that? Oh, mirror? it's got some neat features. Um, you'll see um, uh, additional lighting on it uh, that uh, we believe will be uh, first in the segment. We're really excited about uh, that, and uh, we'll be uh, releasing new information on that uh, mirror here shortly. Okay, so hang tight. Innovation in trailering mirrors from Jim C. coming your way sometime soon. Um, this is a long one, it looks like. Many folks from Aaron, from Jason, it looks like from other folks. Ah, that's why. Is there any chance of the 6 2 
becoming a motor option, I assume. It's, that sounds like they're wondering if we're going to use the 6.2 on the HDs is what that sounds like. Yeah, uh, great question. The, 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 the 6.2 liter uh, in the light duty is an aluminum block mm -hmm. engine, and it, uh, it uh, won't meet the requirements of a heavy duty uh, application. Uh, so our heavy duty engine is a 6 liter with an iron block, and it's been uh, validated for, uh, for our uh, requirements. Uh, uh, we are evaluating uh, future upgrades uh, to our gasoline uh, lineup and um, displacements uh, commensurate with that evaluation. In fact, this, the, the heavy-duty 6-liter engine, as you know, uh, also is available with uh, CNG, compressed natural mm -hmm. gas, uh, upgrade uh, um, capability as well. A lot of demand for that feature out there. So if you're looking for CNG, we've got it on the 6-liters. And that, that engine is new from 2000. 10, 2011, Yeah, actually. 2011, we upgraded uh, the performance and, uh, you know, we've continued to refine it and uh, going into the 2015 uh, Sierra HD there, uh, it's, it's uh, got excellent performance mm -hmm. uh, capability and, uh, and as I said, it also has a CNG, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can run on it's, CNG. It's a proven gas that. engine. It's, it's yeah. like the Duramax. And we've got a big history with both of those engines and people like them, it'll let you down. So, um, let's see what the next one is here. Ah! Why can't we get tr why can't we get tricoat white diamond paint on the on the HDs? We've got that on the light duty crew cabs is where the question's coming from. So Michael's asking why we can't get it on the HDs. Yeah, uh, that's a great question. Uh, the white diamond is a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, is uh, is a more complex color to to paint uh, in our uh, paint facilities. Um, and uh, basically every year we we do um, add new colors to our lineup based on uh, trends and. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, it's one of the uh, things that uh, we, we can look at. Uh, right now, it hasn't had a lot of, uh, let's say, pull uh, in the heavy duty uh, in the heavy duty uh, uh, lineup. It does uh, have a lot of appeal in the light duty. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Uh, on the light duty yep. Sierra, uh, but it's one thing we can certainly look at. Uh, the as a tri coat got to go through the line. Yeah, it gets uh, processed through the paint shop or something. Yeah, it, 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 uh, there, there's it's more. Uh, um, more intense uh, processing there to paint that color um, than, uh, let's say, uh, um, other colors because yeah. of its, uh, it, it's a, it's a tri-coat. It's a complicated and color, so just visually it's complicated. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful it. color. Yeah, it, it is. It is, it is. and uh, one we can... All right, that's something on the docket maybe for the future, though, all right? Uh, let's see from, that's a long one, too, from Matthew. Um, Ram is still the only one. Ford discontinued it in 08. And I know the demand isn't very high. Keep going. <laughs> ah, there we go. Would GMC ever offer a six-speed manual as an option for the Duramax for something like a special order? But the question is, would we offer a manual transmission on the Duramax? Yeah, we, we, we find that uh, manual transmissions uh, here in, 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 the, in the market here are, are not very high uh, interest. In fact, uh, this is the first time that I've ever uh, got a question about uh, the Allison and being a manual. A manual. Um, we do, uh, for example, uh, uh, produce a, a manual gasoline uh, at, uh, uh, system in our uh, in the Mexico market, but uh, there's just not a lot of interest in manuals, yeah. uh, let alone a diesel manual yeah. in this. So uh, no current plans to uh, to offer a manual. Yeah, um, I'd say that's the first time I've heard that one too. But interesting mm -hmm. question. Yeah. Have to keep an eye out on things. You you, you don't mm -hmm. know as trends change. They change. So uh, uh, I'll uh, keep my uh, keep my ears open. Yeah. Uh, another transmission question from Tim and from others. It looks like will a new uh, yeah we get that will a new eight speed be offered at some yeah, point? Yeah, I'd say HDs? stay tuned. Uh, you know we're constantly uh, enhancing our technologies throughout the truck, uh, throughout its life cycle, and uh, improvements to our powertrains. Uh, you will see forthcoming, but I can't talk about uh, those yeah, particular no, things today. That. I understand, but it's fair to say that we're in the continuous improvement. Oh, game no question. On our heavy duties, and particularly the powertrains. No question. Right? No question. So, can't get too specific with you, I guess, on that one, but we'll be in the game for sure. Um, oh boy, from Stephen, from Tim, from Anthony. Okay, would you ever would you ever think about putting a straight axle on the trucks? Also, well, two-parter. Would you ever think about putting a solid, a solid front axle? I guess in the front is what they're asking. And would you ever bring back the more heavy-duty, heavier-duty trucks, 4,500 series and up type trucks? So, two-parter. Yeah, the um, the 
uh, discussion uh, regarding a solid front axle versus independent front suspension, mm -hmm. which is uh, our, our uh, standard, is, um, is one that uh, often gets discussed and debated. And um, both have their uh, pluses and, uh, let's say, their minuses. Um, I think all in all, uh, we, we believe that our independent front suspension, you know, it's rated at 6,000 pounds. Yep. Front uh, gross axle weight rating is uh, is the best overall solution for our uh, for our customers. It uh, you know handles everything, and we we think we think it especially it uh, it shows its value. Uh, uh, for example, when snow plowing, because mm -hmm. uh, customers when they put that plow on there can easily adjust the uh, the trim height there uh, with the torsion bar setup that uh, is featured with our independent. You just put a wrench on that, right? Yeah, it's very easy to adjust it. But uh, but overall, uh, you know, as I evaluate it and have been in this discussion for a long time, uh, I, I truly believe that it offers our customers the overall best uh, capability yeah. um, in, in a heavy duty. And it's not package. like we have any less snowplow capability or front gross axle weight rating, right? By virtue oh, of the suspension. So not. the capability is there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Capability, durability, performance—it's yeah. all there. Yeah. The second part of that one was the uh, the 4500 series truck. Yeah, yeah. The 4500 or uh, and or perhaps 5500 series yeah. truck. We are uh, we are evaluating uh, that segment and, and looking at it uh, as a as a potential for us. And uh, I would say uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's not a, not the biggest piece of the overall pickup market, but we get no, still, folks uh, asking we, about it. Yep, especially for, for, for uh, fleet and uh, commercial customers. Mm -hmm. uh, they they uh, uh, need uh, higher GVW rated yeah. vehicles and uh, yeah. you know we, we have uh, had that question uh, and, are, and are evaluating uh, opportunities yeah. there. Yeah. From William, uh, I think we partially answered this one. He mentions the 6.2, but he's asking will there be a new gas engine? And the engines, both engines are fairly new. Yeah, both engine, the uh, the, the the gasoline uh, six liter and the uh, the Duramax are, are you know the gas and the and the diesel uh, powertrains that we have. Um, we we uh, essentially with our our uh, gas engine, um, especially with the 410 final drive uh, axle rating there, that uh, essentially is is the uh, you know, the most capable. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, payload and uh, trailering uh, truck uh, that uh, that we have with a gas application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, we I think we skipped past the second half of his question. He was asking about uh, like a max trailering package, like we do on the six mm -hmm. twos on the light duties. But you just I think you just yeah, answered that. I, yeah, it's 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 essentially you know when you get the gas engine and uh, um, you know we have two axle um, final uh, final drives you can get a 373 or you can get a 410 mm -hmm. the 410 gets you the most capability so yeah. i think to really answer that question that, that would be the one if you want the most capability then then you want to get the 410 it's a 410 so there's no yeah. max trailering package Correct. necessary um, okay i'm going to try to interpret this one from lewis i want a z71 4x4 crew cab denali it says D slash A. I that could be dual axle, which would be a dual. Could we go back up just for one second. Looking for a four wheel drive crew cab Z seventy one Denali. You can get that. Dual rear axle, dually. We don't we don't offer that configuration. Yeah, with right? a, with a with a dually, you can get a, a crew cab dually Denali, but you cannot get Z seventy one. Right. Um, the first time I've uh, got that question inquired about Z71 on a dually, um, Z71, you know, clearly goes on. Uh, you can get that on three-quarter ton, or you can get that on single rear wheel, uh, one ton. But duallys uh, generally are not the ones that are uh, uh, we find often not going off road, uh, off -road right? uh, yeah. to, to to that extent where uh, where. Um, you know the the features of uh, Z71 re really stand out. Maybe we so. misunderstood his question, but that's the only thing I yeah. can think of. That can we, can we go go backwards to that one more time, real quick? This one, look. I don't know what else that would be. Okay, hang on, we missed another part there. Yeah, I can't imagine a dually going flying through the woods, climbing rocks, but never know. Um, will there be an upgrade to the Duramax, or or a repeat for 2015? I assume the question is, will there be a, an upgrade to the Duramax? Yeah, I, I think um, you know the the Duramax for 2015 um, has a horsepower rating of 397 horsepower, mm -hmm. and 
Lots of 765 yeah. pound-feet of torque, which yep. is uh, uh, outstanding horsepower and torque capability. And by the way, that um, that torque gets to the tires. We we um, provide very little torque limiting in the first gear. Where uh, if you uh, drive our competitors' vehicles, they claim a lot of torque, but there's a lot of torque limiting there. And when you read a lot of these head-to-head -head competitions, mm -hmm. there that's where the integration of our truck really stands out from others. So you'll feel it at launch. Oh, no question. Trailer. That's something no, to do. No Maybe question. if you're out shopping, compare. Yep. See if you can get your trailer hooked up and see and what it feels like. You right? can really see. The torque limiting um, is, um, you know, I believe that um, uh, the torque that, that uh, your engine and your transmission provides to the driveline should get to the tires. Yep. And, uh, and then thus, get to the ground. Get to the happens ground. if the tire isn't attached to the ground. Oh, That's right. right. And so we, we, uh, we uh, have very capable truck that provides this performance where uh, uh, torque limiting you don't take away torque limit takes away torque mm -hmm. and I believe in not taking away torque so no new specs per se but we're doing a better job on the low end managing the torque and offering as much as you can absolutely so that's a good takeaway of that one um, with, the, with the recent changes to competitors diesel trucks what will the GMC do differently in the future to improve fuel efficiency Fuel efficiency and power, especially while towing. Yeah, great question there. Um, you know, obviously, uh, as our customers require these trucks to, uh, you know, move uh, their family members and people and their stuff, whether it's in the box or the trailer, uh, fuel economy is very important. Absolutely. And uh, between, uh, and, and there are multiple parts to fuel economy. There is uh, clearly the powertrain is a big part of it, and uh, looking at improvements in calibration, hardware. Um, you know, we will be continuing to make those types of improvements mm -hmm. throughout the uh, the years ahead. Um, there's also elements of aerodynamics which are important, and that's uh, ensuring that, uh, for example, your outside uh, rearview mirrors are optimized for mm -hmm. for minimal. Uh, drag counts, or uh, you know, the front of the vehicle, and but also making sure for heavy-duty usage that um, as you're optimizing aerodynamics, you're also ensuring that that the front end of the vehicle allows plenty of air in to uh, reject heat yeah. from from the engine. These trucks uh, work very hard, and so you got to be able to do that. And so there's also tire influences, making sure you have great tires that handle and perform, especially off-road, but they have a, a great rolling resistance so mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, they allow the, the vehicle to and the engine to not have to work as hard. So there are a number of things that we're working on all around the vehicle that uh, add to fuel economy that you'll see us. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> to, to the aerodynamic point you were making, excuse me, um, the HDs benefit from the the changes in the door design stuff, just like the light duty did, true. right? That's there's some yep. arrow in there, yep. and uh, HD's got the front uh, arrow spats too, right? They do. Not all of them, yep. but most of them. Yeah, most of the heavy duties, uh, you know, have the the, the the arrow spat lower air deflector that the is just below the, the bumper. Yeah. Um, designed to to be extremely robust, mm -hmm. but at the same time to uh, help for aerodynamics, yep. and uh, you know that that arrow deflector itself. Um, you know, is, can be worth, uh, depending on the uh, the, the vehicle, uh, 10 to 15 counts of, of aerodynamic um, uh, drag improvement. Which, which bottom line? Is real fuel economy. Real fuel economy. Yep, can't beat that. Um, I think this is the tail end of that question. When will the next diesel stray, the next Duramax stray from the 6.6 displacement? Um, I, at this point in time, I, I don't uh, see us... Uh, having no. any plans to really change from that displacement. We think it uh, suits the Duramax well, and uh, but not to say that, you know, we may not uh, alter that, but but I think, um, you know, we, we, uh, we're probably not going to change Probably not. It. Unless there's a real good reason, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from Charles, any chance of a Sierra Denali HD in a double cab configuration mm. at some no, point? Uh, interesting question there is, is uh, you know, the Denali is a very... Uh, uh, to me, I have a soft spot for the Denali. I, I really like that truck, and today we offer it in the crew cab model. But uh, you know, based on this question, uh, we, we should have a look at uh, uh, potential yeah. uh, popularity and and uh, offering uh, the Denali on a on a double cab HD. Right? That'd be new. That'd be new. All right, hang on, I'm going too fast. Did we pass something? Or are we still good? Okay. Why didn't you match the thirty thousand pound trailer reading of the Ram? 
Yeah, the the uh, the Ram uh, one ton uh, vehicle that's rated at thirty thousand uh, pounds looks to me like um, what they have done is is pulled from their forty five hundred series truck uh, some components mm -hmm. yep. and dropped them into their uh, one ton uh, application. Now it's uh, we believe a very small volume yeah. uh, application for customers that uh, uh, will be fifth wheel trailering a trailer of that size. Uh, we believe our 23,200 uh, pound uh, fifth wheel rating is certainly plenty of trailer for a vehicle this size and uh, I'm watching closely just to, to yeah. see if I can uh, you know see how big uh, you know that is but uh, I don't I don't anticipate it being a big 232 meets the needs of an awful lot of oh, folks. Yeah. Um, the vast majority horses aren't getting any bigger and the trailers aren't getting too much bigger well that's think. a big it's a you know 30,000 pounds is a big trailer for a vehicle of yeah. a one ton size and uh, I think uh, you know our 232 with with our uh, uh, will will meet the vast majority of customers a lot of other factors at play oh, too, yeah. not just the number and the rating oh, yeah. so how yeah. well you manage that load and control it yeah. obviously is the most important thing this is the last question I guess we've been going for 25 minutes already here. Um, Scott wants to know, any spray-in bed liner option, up two parter here, any spray-in bed liner option or the option of a roll-down rear window? I assume he's talking about the rear glass. Yeah, yeah, um, great question. Uh, to protect uh, the box, we, we, have, we offer customers the option to, to have a spray-in bed liner. Or if you'd rather stick with the uh, drop-in accessory liner, accessory you, can, you can get yeah. that uh, as well. And uh, um, so we're really excited to be able to offer customers a choice mm -hmm. for box protection. And then uh, with regards to a sliding uh, back glass, in fact, we, we have a, a sideways a slider versus a, a, a drop down. Okay, so it still meets the need, gets air in. Yeah, it meets the need and um, it is um, also has got um, a defrost capability mm -hmm. in, the, uh, nice. in the slider yep. as well. Yep. All right, well, folks, that's all the time we have for today, unfortunately. I thank you so much for tuning in and for all your great questions, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.